Hello, this is Zoe from Fox and Moon Tea, and I'm excited to share with you the first round of prototypes of teaware that we're working with Skinny Ceramics, Susan McKinney in Northern California, a wonderful artist and ceramicist. And we've been collaborating, we've had a couple design calls to talk through a custom teaware set that we will be providing to our team members in the near future. So I wanted to share the first unveiling of these prototypes. So far we've talked about form, function, design aesthetic, different materials we can use, and Susan's been working through a couple design ideas, so I'm very excited to see them and be able to hold them and experience it. So one of the first things I'll be doing after I spend time with each of these designs is to do what I would call a stress test and test out different temperatures in the cup and make sure that um, the teacup feels nice and is a great experience, and then also just the form factor and how the experience is holding the cup. So this piece, wow. It has a beautiful feel to it and a lovely texture. I really like um, an organic sensibility to a piece where you can really feel the soul and the character of the piece itself and have references to the original materials that are used from a textural standpoint. I like lots of different uh, texture combinations as well as interesting glazes. So basically pieces that you can kind of lose yourself in and that's part of the experience. So this is the first cup. That's a really nice size. I can already tell this is gonna be a hard decision. There's quite a few cups, so I'm gonna go a little bit faster through this. <laughs> and then I'll share the cups with you again at the end. It's like Christmas. Ooh. So this one has a interesting kind of matte tactile feel to it. A little bit um, like you're holding a stone, a soft stone. I really like the, the pocked um, coloring. It's got like a, a nice warm oatmealish color to it. And then there's some really fun crunchy textures on the inside. Um, this depression is, is a really nice holding um, feel, very comfortable, and it's got a good weight. So the other thing I'll be testing is just how it feels when you drink from the, the rim. Another lovely piece. Here, I'll put this guy in the front because it's a little bit shorter. Ooh, this one's smaller. Oh, okay, I know what this is. I will open the other counterpart. So this is, um, the other thing that's fun is, for Susan, this is kind of a new direction for her to explore form-wise, doing cups um, as pieces. She has many, many sculptural pieces she's been working on over the years, but this is a, a new adventure for her as well. So this is the design for an aroma cup, which was developed in Taiwan, and I have a, a video on my channel that talks about aroma cups, but the purpose of this is you brew the tea in this, and then, you put the receiving cup on the end, flip it, and then you enjoy the aroma of the tea, which is one of the main qualities in the tea experience. So this is specific for that tea service type. And I really like the overall shape that it has and the fact that there's two two-tone colors going on and different textures as well. So the inside of this has a, a smooth glaze applied, but the feel is rough on the outside. So that's the aroma cup style. Aha, okay. So this cup is a variation on the cup that was done by a mold. So that's the other thing. She's doing different techniques as well and exploring that. So this was a hand building technique and these two were cast in a mold initially, and then she's playing around with different glazing options, and so that's where the experimentation will be. So this one has a really nice variation of greens. There's a little bit of a iridescence to it, metallic -y colors, and then the bottom of it is rough. So those are the glaze options for that style.
All right. So this one, kind of similar in um, the shape and form factor as this hand-built piece, but this was done, I believe the technique is called a coil um, technique. So, and something that I believe um, is also called a slab technique. So it's rolled out and kind of a pattern matrix is cut into the, the flat um, clay. And then it's wrapped around into its 3D shape, kind of like origami and fired. So I like this scene, this visible scene here. And we had some ideas around how we would want to visually treat that. Um, and again, this is a nice, a nice um, shape and size, at least for my, my hand. I will definitely test this out with other folks and see um, form, form and size ratios, what they feel. But also one of the considerations is the tea preparation service, that ratio um, that you want to have for the tea in the vessel that will be holding it. And whether or not it's for a single service, and that's our focus for this, this round of teaware, or one for a large group of people. So this is another variation. And this one, um, she was doing a technique, which I really love the thought behind it, where she's doing impressions of tea leaves. You can see um, physical tea leaves, and she used oolongs into the clay and then firing it. Unfortunately, the leaves get fired off in the process, but it does leave this kind of ghostly impression, which is fun. And again, the inside of this is smooth, so the, the lip is smooth when you drink from it, and then the outside is rough and she used a staining process on the clay. I'm not sure if it's um, similar. It looks kind of like a watercolor effect, um, but I'll have to ask her about details on that. So this is another variation similar to the last one that I just showed you, but it's a different color treatment and looks like the clays are the same that she's using. And it looks like it's a very kind of, I don't know the technical term, but like a stone type of clay. And then we're doing an impression of Fox and Moon logo inside. And the third one in this series that we're looking at right now, uh, different color treatments. It looks like the clay is a different clay to start with. It's, it's lighter in color. Um, I know she did some porcelain, so this might be one of the porcelain versions. I'll have to double check with her. Um, nice color. All right, so I think one of the, I'm, I'm in my head thinking of some design feedback, so this will be fun. I'm gonna have fun exploring all of these pieces. Ah, I like the drippiness. So again, this is on the same design line as the last few that we've looked at, and this one has a larger impression of a tea leaf within. So working on that idea. And the last piece, let's see what is hiding in here. Well, she wrapped these very nicely. All right, so it's another slab piece and Again, this one has some nice drippy texture and some gradation in the, the glaze. It's like a whitewash approach, which I really like. I like that delicateness and the organic play of that. And again, the Fox and Moon Tea logo is stamped in the bottom. So that is the first run of tea wear designs from Skinny Ceramics in collaboration with Fox and Moon Tea. It almost feels like chess pieces. And keep in touch with us on our website foxandmoontea.com as well as our youtube channel to see updates on this design exploration these will be available soon through our team membership tasting club and that will be on our website foxandmoontea.com thank you and have a wonderful day hopefully enjoy lots of tea <laughs>